mighty God. Come on, worship him. I bless your name. Holy one, I worship you. Holy one, I worship you. For you are God all by yourself. We love you this morning, Lord Jesus. You are God all by yourself. You are God. You are God all by yourself. We worship you, Jesus. You are God all by yourself. Age to age. Age to age. You're still the same, mighty God. And all creation will shout your name. For you are God all by yourself. We love you this morning, oh God. You are God all by yourself. Singing again, age to age, still the same. And age to age, you're still the same. All creation will shout your name. For you are God all by yourself. We love you this morning, oh God. You are God all by yourself. For who you are, I bless your name. For who you are, I worship you. Come on. For who you are, I bless your name. For who you are, I worship you. For you are God all by yourself. We love you this morning, oh God. You are God all by yourself. You are God. You are God all by yourself. We love you this morning. We love you. You are God all by yourself. Come on, sing it to him. Mighty God. And mighty God, I bless your name. Holy one, I worship you, for you are God all by yourself. Hey, you are God all by. Come on, just lift your hands to heaven. Yes, you are. You are God all by yourself. Bless you this morning. We worship you. We magnify you. You are God all by yourself. It's here, the book we've been waiting for. Seven Ways the Holy Spirit Speaks to Us. A complete guide to hearing God. Pastor Sean Pinner gives readers life-changing keys on exploring, understanding, and experiencing the voice of God which every believer can hear on a daily basis. Packed with powerful revelations, this book shares the methods, means, and motivations for the voice of God and provide answers to questions like how to hear God, recognize His voice, tap into His guidance, and much more. Receive confidence on hearing God through the Word, dreams and visions, divine impressions, and more. And discover a much deeper and more intimate walk with the Lord. Order Seven Ways the Holy Spirit Speaks Today, available on Amazon and all major book suppliers. Your journey into the powerful realms of God's voice starts here. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, me and Pastor Amy, we join our faith with your precious people on this morning. Father God, as we get ready to go into the Word of God, you know every need in their life. I pray that you would meet every need. Touch them in every area of their lives. Bring encouragement to those who are discouraged. Bring strength to the weak. Bring healing to the sick. Bring a word of comfort from the Word of God on this morning. David said, Your word, O Lord, is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Bless your people, I pray. Give them real answers from the word of God. 
in the name of Jesus Christ we pray somebody say amen oh praise God on this morning we're talking about this God is my keeper can someone repeat those words God is my keeper oh glory to God don't you just love him with everything in you in spite of everything that's going on around us it's real but I tell you God's more real than anything can you repeat them words can you just type it below this video God is my keeper this is a personal word listen to what the Bible says in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 33 verse 27 listen to this the eternal God is thy refuge praise God refuge means he's a shelter from the storm he is a strong tower he is someone I can run to and hide from the attacks of the enemy my God the eternal God is thy refuge and underneath underneath who underneath you and I are the everlasting arms praise God and he shall thrust out the enemy from before you and shall say destroy them my God my God first John chapter 3 verse 8 says for this purpose was the Son of God made manifest that he might destroy the works of the devil praise God even if the bottom falls out God still got you glory to God in the palm of his hands his hands are underneath you and I his hands is not just underneath us his hands is are all around us he is our shield and our buckler Psalm chapter 3 says he is our glory and the lifter up of our heads he is our keeper he is your shield every attack that will come against your life it have to run into the king of kings and the lord of lords our shield is our god our shield is not a thing he is a person his name is jesus christ the son of the living god he said i'll never leave you nor forsake you i'll be with you even unto the end he is a friend that sticks closer than a brother david said when father and mother forsakes me then the lord will lift me up up. he is with you right now in this lockdown period in our lives right now we have to be on lockdown listen he is with you he said I'll never leave never that means he's right there with you but you got to remind yourself that you are not in this by yourself like Shadrach Meshach and Abednego when they were thrown into the fiery furnace the Lord Jesus was made manifest he was with them all along but sometimes it takes the fire for us to see him and to realize that my my God, he is really with us. I want to take you over into the book of John chapter 10, verse 27 through 30. Listen to the word of God. My sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. Praise God. He says, my sheep know my voice. They know my voice. They hear it and they know it and I know them and they follow me watch this and I give unto them eternal life when after we die no eternal life is through Jesus Christ you already have eternal life glory to God are you listening to me you're not trying to get eternal life you already have it that's why the apostle Paul says be absent from this body I'll be present with the Lord for me to live is Christ and to die is gain Jesus said if a man believes in me though he die yet shall he live again and if a man believes in me he'll never die my God, what a God we serve. Now watch this. So he said, I give unto them. Not I'm going to. He said, I give. That, that's, th th this is present tense. I give unto them eternal life. And they 
shall never perish. That means you're not going to lose your soul. You will stay in that relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. You know the book of Jude verse 20 says, Now unto him that is able to keep us from falling. Glory to God. Now watch this. They shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. Can someone say it? God is my keeper. Come on, lift your hands and say it. God is my keeper. My God, my God. I say God is my keeper. Glory to God. Hallelujah. My God, listen to this. So he says, they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. My Father which gave them to me is greater than all. My God, no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hands. Do you understand what I'm reading to you this morning? You are in the hands of the Lord. God's got you. He is your king. He is your protector. He is your shield. He is your buckler. He is your high tower, my God. He is your hiding place. He is your shelter from the storm. Glory to God. My Father which gave them to me is greater than all, and no man can pluck them out of my Father's hands. And I and the Father are one. Listen to what the Apostle Paul says in Romans chapter 8, verse 38 and 39. In all these things, in all of it, everything we're dealing with, we are more than conquerors through him that love us. Come on, somebody said, I am more than a conqueror through Christ Jesus. Now watch this. Paul says, for I am persuaded that neither death nor life nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor coronavirus, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus. God is my keeper. He is my keeper. Come on, lift your hands to heaven and repeat those words. The Lord is my keeper. The Lord is my keeper. The Lord is my keeper. He is my keeper. The apostle Peter says it like this, the eyes of the Lord, my God, my God, are on the righteous and his ears are open under their cry. He is watching over you. He is guarding you. He is keeping you. He is protecting you. He is surrounding you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We love you, Jesus. Father, I cover your people in the blood. Me and Pastor Amy join our faith with your people this morning. We pray over their lives, over them and their loved, loved ones. We pray for divine protection from this disease. Lord, you said you will preserve our going out and coming in from this time forth, even forevermore. You will preserve us from all evil. Dear God, you are a good God. Every good and perfect gift comes from you. God, we are the devil in Jesus name remember the people in New York right now our brothers and sisters God we lift them up before you we pray for divine protection God in Louisiana we cover them in the name we cover them in the name of Jesus our brothers and sisters in the Lord that's having to fight this pandemic in Florida God in Washington God my God in California come on just call your state out whatever country you're watching from whatever state in America you live in just call the name of your city call that state out before the Lord right now we cover them in the blood we cover them in the blood Lord your word declares no weapon formed against us will be able to prosper God you said in your word when the enemy comes against us like a flood you said the spirit of the living God will raise up a standard against him do it, God. Raise up a standard against this disease, against this pandemic, against this outbreak. 
in the name of Jesus Christ heal people that's been affected by this virus heal them I pray in the name of Jesus Christ the Son of God bring healing into their bodies God restore their health in the name of Jesus Christ God we pray for the government officials we pray for the local officials God we pray that you guide them give them wisdom give them knowledge give them understanding remember the first responders the doctors and nurses and health care workers God EMS workers firemen police that's on the front line father God in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God uh, we pray divine protection over them around the world that's having to deal with people who have been affected by this illness God protect them God as they fight against this disease we pray for scientists doctors God who all are working on vaccine and virus and treatments God give them a breakthrough give them the wisdom the knowledge the understanding God we lift them up before you God in the name of Jesus my help My help coming from the Lord. My help. Lift your hands. My help. My help. Cause all of my help coming from the Lord. My help. By God. My help. My help, cause all of my help coming from the Lord. My help, my God, my God. We love you this morning. My help, and all of my help coming from the Lord. My help. My help, my help, as all of my help coming from the Lord. My help, my God, we love you, Jesus. Hallelujah, we love you, Master. Glory to God. Listen, I want to give you an opportunity right now. We understand some of you are facing dilemmas. You're facing hard times. We totally understand it. We've been there where we were not in a position to be able to give. But God brought us out. The same God that brought us out, He will bring you out. The Bible says if there's a willing heart, it is accepted. For you that's in the position to, we want to give you an opportunity to stand with the work of God. To show your support for the preaching of the gospel. To do so, you can visit us online right now. SeanPinder.net forward slash give. SeanPinder.net forward slash give. You can also give through the ministry PayPal account. That address is paypal.me forward slash SeanPinder Ministries. Paypal.me forward slash SeanPinder Ministries. You can also give through the Ministry Zelle account. The Ministry Zelle email address is info at seanpinder.net. Info at seanpinder.net. And listen, if you give through Zelle, make sure email us your name and mailing address. You can also give through the Ministry Cash App account. The Ministry Cash App address is the dollar sign Sean Pinder Ministries. The dollar sign Sean Pinder Ministries. If you give that way, make sure to email us your name and mailing address so we can give you proper thanks. You can also mail your donations, your love gifts. You can mail that into the ministry. Just remember to make your checks and money orders out to Sean Pinder Ministries, P.O. Box 2726 McKinney, Texas. 75070. Never forget, me and my lovely wife, Pastimi, we love you so much. 
We love you. Remember to join us again on tomorrow morning as we talk about never give up. Never give up. Listen, I'm asking you to share this video with at least three of your friends that you know need a word of encouragement. I want you to help me get this message to them, to build them up, to lift them up. Share this with your friends on WhatsApp, on YouTube, on Facebook, Facebook Messenger. Send, send this link to them. Pinterest, Twitter, Snapchat, LinkedIn. Just send it around the world to all your friends on social media. Help us get this gospel around the world. You are helping win souls to the Lord Jesus Christ.